Sharon's here, and guess what day it is? Ask Sharon anything. <laughs> That's right, girlfriends. I've got the answers to your questions, and boy, do we have them today. And I want to hop through them pretty fast. Uh, because I have so many, I'm trying to get to every single person. And just remember, if your question hasn't come up yet, I mean, I still have a stack like that. So I'm trying to get them as quickly as possible. So hang in there with me, girls, okay? And for those of you that want questions asked, by all means, I have my email address down below in the description bar. Send all your questions over to me from there. You can ask me anything. <laughs> For those of you that are new to my channel, please scroll on down when you see the subscribe button. Push that button, girlfriends, and see that little bell? Go ahead and click that bell while you're at it, because then you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos, okay? So here we go. Question number one. Oh, goodness gracious. It says, I just started watching your channel about a week ago. Well, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. And so I don't know much about you. But are you married? How long? And if not, do you date? And what do you think of dating? Well, uh, let's see. Let's start with your first question. Am I married? No. I've not been married in 20, 25 years. I've been single for a long time. Um, and if not, do you date? Yes, I date. Um, and what do you think of dating? Well, I just think it's lovely. I mean, they're picking up the tab. <laughs> I have all the power over... <laughs> no, <laughs> backtrack, girlfriend. I think dating is great. You meet all kinds of people from everywhere. I have to tell you, though, dating at this age, at the mature age, <sighs> the pickings are kind of slim. The men are kind of slowing down. They're kind of uh, like uh, wanting to be in an easy chair or out on the golf course. And, of course, I think they're somewhat active at a gym, but it's different. It's different than it used to be, you know, when we were younger and dating. But, yes, I do. I do. And love every minute of a girlfriend, okay? All right, next question. And this is from Jean McGill. Sharon, it's so fun being a woman. What part of being a woman do you enjoy the most? Hair, makeup, skin care, power. Absolutely, power. We women have acquired power through all of these decades that we've been through. And it's been a long haul, let me tell you. So, yes, of course we love our skin care. Of course we love makeup. And, and of course we love our hairstyles. We love all of that and wardrobe. But most of all, we are getting the respect that we never had before. And now we're holding down professional positions that we were never used to holding down before. And, yeah, we can use our power just about any way we want with anyone we want. So I think it's great. I think it's been a long, hard road getting here, and I don't think we're still through it yet. But I think we're on our way, okay? I think we've about nipped it in the bud. Thanks for your question. Okay, this is from Candace. Did it hurt to have your H spots frozen off? You called it cryotherapy. Yes, uh, yes, that's what I had done to. And I see this hand's hailing purdy. This one's getting lighter. It's getting better. No, it doesn't hurt at all. They just stick this little apparatus on there, and it's liquid nitrogen, and it looks like it's burning you know, your skin, when you watch it kind of foam up and smoke a little bit, but it, they're freezing off. And they scab over first, and my hands been itching like crazy, and, uh, you know, the scabs are kind of peeling off good. So it, it just takes time, but I'll tell you what, I went in there, and I know it sounds stupid, but I went there with a magnifying glass, and I said everything that looks like it would be getting ready to come up, we're, we're going to take care of anyway. And, of course, you know, she knows I'm anal to a fault. So, right, Sharon, whatever you want. And so we did that. <laughs> and it's just like a beautiful girlfriend. Because you know your hands tell your age, we can't have that. Mm -mm. No way, Jose. So, no, it doesn't hurt at all. And if you haven't had it done, you're all, all insurance, 
you know, cover it. I mean, even your bloody Medicare. So, you gals don't have any excuse not to get it done. Get those eight spots off your hands. They're so tacky. Just, oh, uh, garbage. Uh, okay, this is from Pris Priscilla Ann. Okay, is there a way to pay for your time to talk to you when we have skin care questions and other small makeup issues? You know, that's funny you should ask that. I have been getting inundated with questions on that. The um, coaching consultations are pricier, and so we have found a way that we're working on right now, I'll be bringing to you soon, where you all can, you know, reach me head on, face on, and with questions like that. I mean, I'll go shopping with you and so forth and help you pick out stuff. Or we'll pick out medical grade or whatever you want to do. But yes, I will be bringing that to you very shortly, okay? And thanks for your question. I appreciate that. God love you. Okay, this is from Patty. What treatments have you had, like lasers, Botox, etc.? Okay, uh, microdermabrasion, dermaplaning, because that takes off your skin and your hair. But I do that myself now. I do the microdermabrasion myself too now, okay? I've had peels, I've had facials, I had my eyebrows tattooed, oh, not once but twice, oh, and each time it was a bomb, but I'm getting ready to have it done by somebody else that didn't know what they're doing, and it's called microblading now, okay? But same thing, tattoo. All right, and I've had Botox, I've had uh, fillers, I've had an eye augmentation back in my 40s, I had a breast augmentation back in my 40s. I guess that's about it. But stay in light, because I'm going to keep going, okay, girlfriends? I'm going to take advantage of everything I can. I have not had any lasers yet, though. But um, I, I kind of want to get that done under my eye. My derm had said that Surfex, Resurfex, R-E-S-U-R-F-X, is a great laser, very inexpensive and it doesn't take any time to zap underneath your eyes. And today I need something because I am swollen. I think it's salt. I ate some salmon last night. The salmon was great, but it was covered in a lot of salt. And I just... All right. It says, do you have acrylic nails or do you have... I think I get what you're trying to ask me. I do have acrylic nails, but they are dipped, Okay. Um, I don't always do the dip. I, I would do the pink and white for a long time, and then I would do the gel, but now they're just dipping them in the color is what they do. They just dip them in the color. However, no color ever comes out right like I like it, except the white, so I probably am going to have to go back to the gel, okay? Thanks for your question, Janice. Sharon, can you do a meetup in Dallas sometime soon? There's a group of us that would love to meet you. Oh, how sweet. You know, I would consider that. Um, and I'll, I'll start to go to work on it and figure out a good time. And, well, you know, you can send me a message if you can. My email address down below in the description bar. And kind of let me know your schedules, too. And we'll see if we can all kind of, you know, get together on a time and everything. Um, there's a couple of other gals that have written me YouTubers that are not in Dallas, but one's in, you know, Houston, one's, you know, up in the Panhandle a little bit more, that talked about coming down and we could all do one. So we'll see if we can get together and do that. Thanks. Appreciate your question, girlfriend. And this next one is from Carol. Carol, Sharon, would you do a video on the vitamins and protein that you take? Um, yes, I would consider that. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll write that down on my list, okay? Well, I'll have my secretary write it down on my list. She'll remember before I do. Uh, yeah, I can definitely do that for you. All right? Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay, the next question comes, and I'm trying to do quite a few, so y'all bear with me if I'm skipping through, because I want to make sure everybody knows that I'm answering their questions. This one's from Brenda Kelly. My question is, how do you stay so humble? Um... Well, I guess there's no other way. Um, you have to understand, I'm a real straightforward person. I hold nothing back, 
and I don't care. Okay, I mean, that's me. So, I don't think there's a reason to be humble or not to be humble. What you see is what you get with me, okay? But thanks so much. Appreciate it. You're a doll. Okay, this is from Carol Pereira. Good morning, Sharon. I'm going to ask my question first so I don't forget. Does tretinoin help with the neck? I, too, lost about 45 pounds 10 years ago and kept it off. Downside is my neck has never been the same or ever will be. I can do things to make it appear better and more plump, but I'm new to tretinoin and don't know if I should see any difference with that. I love how you tell the absolute tr truth. Love it. You're great. Thank you. Okay. I do use Retin-A on my neck and my decollete, okay? Um, and it doesn't make me red. It doesn't irritate my skin. I don't know why. I just doesn't. But I will say that uh, I've noticed lately that my decollete was getting a bit of uh, kind of a dermatitis type thing, kind of a rash. So I'm thinking that maybe I'm pushing the Retin-A a little too much. Now, I'm going to take my Retin-A down to 0.05 for the neck and the decollete to make sure I don't have any sensitive issues coming up. And yes, you can do that. Retin-A is fabulous. I mean, it's great for your neck and your chest area. Trust me, girlfriend. Ha, huh, go for it. And if nothing else, you could use, you know, Renova at 0.025. Um, you could even use a Retin-All. But I would go for something a little stronger if you're in the age group that, you know, we're in here. You know, the 50s to 60s, I'd try to stick with some type of your retin-A, which is tretinoin, okay? Thanks for your question, bad girl. Okay, Lydia, 46. Sharon, your face is so thin. Keep up the good work. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, darling. I hadn't even noticed that. So... Dear God, because when you start noticing it's getting thin, everything's falling. Of course, it's falling anyway. I am using Retinol by Peter Thomas Roth. What is your all-time favorite skincare product to moisturize dry old skin? I'm not going to say anything about the Peter Thomas Roth because that's not what you asked me about. What is my all-time favorite skincare product to moisturize with? Abaji Hydrate Lux is my very favorite. It's a little pricey, not not outrageous now. Don't get your panties in white, girls. It's not outrageous, but it is the thickest, the most luxurious uh, moisturizing cream ever. And I use it at night, not in the day, okay? A lot. All right. Dear Sharon, this is from Kathy M5. Hi, Sharon. Always looking beautiful. Thank you, darling. My question is, can I use Retin-A with my vitamin C? Absolutely. And I want you to know, this just came up a month ago. And it was a meeting that we had from some of the skincare people. That yes, now you can, if you use Retin-A, let's say, at night, you can use your vitamin C with your Retin-A at night. And actually, it's supposed to be extremely powerful. And it's not, it won't burn or anything like that. So now, it is accepted vitamin C, even if it's the good stuff like the skin SkinCeuticals, and that's primarily, you know, who we were, you know, talking to at the time, so I was really surprised, but I said, yay, because instead of using your vitamin C in the daytime, you could also be using it at night with your Retin-A. How about that? Put the vitamin C on first, then the Retin-A, voila, and they say you wake up and your skin looks 10 times better and it makes an enormous difference. I'm going to try it and see though, because you know me, I got to try everything out and it better be safe and better work, but they guarantee me it was, whatever. Okay, the next question by Kathleen Weaver. Hi, Sharon. Question about medical grade products. What does your dermatologist say about them? <laughs> They say a lot. They sell it all. They sell almost every medical grade brand in their office. Okay, I watch a dermatologist here on YouTube. And she said, medical grade is labeling to charge more. So now I'm confused and wonder what your dermatologist says. Well, I have never been to a dermatologist or a plastic surgeon that didn't have full line of medical grade in their offices to sell. Never have. Of course, you know, 
it depends on the outfit you're going to. Um, the particular dermatologist I go to is owned, and there are eight women, okay, that own this uh, dermatology center, and they're all pros. And they're the creme de la creme de la creme. And yes, it's very posh, it's nice. They have an area just for the estheticians and people doing all the treatments and then they see their patients, and then they have an area that is very much like a store. And every single medical grade product is there. What does that tell you? Hope that answered your question, girlfriend. Okay, we may have time for one more, my ladies. And this is from Lovell's, Lo Lovell's Hope. Do you think it's normal to want to date or be in a relationship anymore? P.S. I'm 56 years old. I used to date a lot, but I am so over it. Oh my gosh, girlfriend. I think you can date till... Well, that probably already turned gray. But anyway, I think you can just date until you drop. Why not? What else have you got to do? You're only 56. My gosh, I'll be 70 in September. Hello. I date. You know... Um, why not date? What else have you got to do with your time? I mean, it's fun. It gets you out among the living. You know, you can go to dinner. You can go to movies. You can go to the theater. You can go anywhere you want to go. You can travel. You can play. Why not? You should. Maybe it's the gentleman you're meeting. Make sure whatever you put out doesn't come back to you in the wrong way, okay? When you date, you have to attract the right kind of individual to you, and there is a way that you do it, or you're going to end up with some real a-holes, you know what I'm saying, girlfriend? So be careful with that. Um, and a good way to date, start online. You know, start online like Match or Our Time, which is Senior People Meet, and because I have a lot of clients that are on there and they're having the blast of their life. And it's been a long time since they've been dating because they've been divorced for a long time. But they're meeting everybody. My goodness, girl, you, you can meet your soulmate doing that. Get, get the lead out. You got to live, girl. Okay, live your life. Enjoy your life. That's what keeps you young. That's what keeps you active. So I'm all for that, okay? All right, my ladies. Thanks so much for joining me today. Oh, I so appreciate it. Oh, my new somebody's mwah, 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 mwah. It's so nice to meet you. I love each and every one of you. And I want to tell all of you to be sure and send in all your questions. My email address is down below. Feel free to ask me anything. And for all of my subscribers, I want you to stay sassy, classy, confident. And give me a big thumbs up on this video.